So you are welcome to today's session. And uh, please interrupt me anytime if you have a question. Okay, so today I want us to look at how to extract data from a PDF file or from JPEG, JPEG that's as a picture, a picture format or yeah, so JPEG, picture form is in JPEG or PNG or TIFF, TIFF, TIFF particularly for data, for ge 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 geography people, geostatistics, especially for satellite, satellite data is always stored in TIFF. Now, there are several packages in R to use for this, for this way. Uh, one of them is called tabulizer. The one I just highlighted, tabulizer. Another one is called PDF tools. So these are all libraries in the R, PDF tools, library, Tabulizer and Tabulizer Jazz Library PDF. Oh, okay, this one is not here, it's not here. PDF table. And yeah, so this these are three very important tools to be able to get documents from PDF. The third one that you see here, uh, you need you need a license. Uh, it, it allows you to do to 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 convert PDF to Excel directly, very easy to use. But it gives you only 500 free pages. After 500, the rest you start pay, you have to pay for. So, but today we'll concentrate on the free ones. Yes. Now I'm going to start with the tabulizer. The tabulizer is a, a package or is a library that also depends on Java. So first of all, your computer must be Java compliant. You must have some java installed on your machine and most of the windows most of the windows uh, computers that we have come with java installed but it looks like uh, if it's not updated to the latest version sometimes it will not work properly with tabulizer so first you you can put this in your terminal your terminal is your your terminal is also here uh, that's what I click here, the terminal. Okay, good. And this is a console where you are working with R directly. First, let me remove all the, let me check out there are some elements in, the, okay, I want to remove all of them. So remove list equals LS. I want to remove every uh, other object in my, good. So there's no object here. Or better still, let me restart. Let me restart the whole session. Restart. Reconnect. Yeah, so I have to restart so that I don't have, it's a clean, it's a clean sheet. Good. So we want to use tabulizer to extract the documents. But first we must check whether we have Java installed. If Java is not installed on a machine, you can't use it. So now the easiest way is to check, to go to your terminal. 
the terminal is your the DOS package of your machine. So if you go to CMD, if you type CMD in Windows, you get that black terminal, and then you just you just type this here. So, but fortunately, R Studio and R they now have created the terminal for us. So this is the terminal. So I'm going to copy and and uh, I'm going to type this document this here. And so I have three Java versions in my system. I have three Java versions in my system, which means that I can work, I can use those, I can use the packages I'm referring to. But if you don't have, then you then you have to you have to download the Java first and then restart your R before you can use it. So assuming that I have Java, then now I'm going to, I'm coming to, uh, and I'll install R Java. Because R Java becomes the interface between R and Java. So you need R Java also. It's the first, you install Java first on your machine and then R Java in your R. You, you yeah, install package R Java. So if I run R Java, it runs. Now I want to be sure that R Java, the Java is actually interacting with my R. So I say R Java J dot J init. And now I have zero. It gives me, it me that zero means successful initialization. And here I've indicated here, if I want to call what Java versions I have, I can use this to call, okay? Good, so now Java is on my system and it's inter and with, through R Java, I'm able to tell that it's interactive with my machine. So now I'm going to require tabulizer. But tidyverse, I mean, the almighty tidyverse I already have. So uh, I already have it on my, uh, already loaded, so I don't, but if you don't have it uh, loaded, you have to load R, uh, tidyverse. And I have R Java already, so I have tabulizer. That's what I'm going to use, tabulizer. There are others here, tabulizer jars. For now, you just need tabulizer. Uh, tabulizer, okay. So there is a document, a PDF document. Now the population enhancing census of 2010, they produce a document on whole municipality. Now, whatever the document is, whether it's your machine or it's on your desktop or win or documents, you just if you open them, let me I'm going to open my I'm going to open mine. So can you see my report? Can you, can you please can you all see the PDF document. Yes, I can see the one that is one. 2010 Population Housing Census. Yes. Okay. So now I want to look for the, the I want, let I want us to use the primitive way first, okay, before we use the more professional one. I'm looking for a particular, let's say I'm looking for a particular a table, okay? Now the tables are here. So let's say household, or let me even go to regional, this by region, household population. Oh, so, so this for the Volta region, so it's not region, it will be district, district, good. Population by sex, number of household, household composition. Okay, so first let me start with a very simple table. Population by age, sex, and locality. Yes, so this table, uh, if you if you you count from page one according to your, uh, your according to the the way it has been written here, I mean it has been print published. This page sixteen. But according to the, the including the the uh, table of content pages, or it is page actually page twenty eight, okay. So I want to get this table. 
table, this table 2.1 into R. So it's like uh, we are not seeing the tables from the PDF version. Oh, uh, so it's the R interface that's still showing. Oh, okay. Okay, good. So let me do something else. Okay, so. Just a minute, let me. So let me share, let me share that again, okay? Let me share the 2010. Okay, you can see it now. Can you see it now? Hello? Can I unmute and yes, uh, prof. Okay, okay. So now it's okay, yes. Now having you have your PDF document and you are looking for a table. Let me take a simple table. Like I said, this table. Yes, this table is the population by age, sex, and type of locality. And this table, according to the page number of the way it is printed, is page 16. But if you add the table of content page and all the, the, the first pages about the title of the book, it's on page 28, because you can see that in your, on your screen, uh, your PDF document, usually at the top, you see that it's on page 28. So now let's go back to our R. Yeah, so is the R on now? Is the R on now? It's, it's still on the PDF. PDF. Okay. So let me let me share my R. The interface. Okay. So now you have my R. Okay. Now you have my R. Yes, please, okay. uh, Prof. Yes. So I want to. Uh, you remember the page? You remember the page you were looking for? The, the where our record is is on page twenty eight. Okay, so, and I have tabulator already. So there's one command in tabulator that helps me to be able to capture the page, the, the coordinates of the page. Okay, so I call this one, I, I, I give it, a, 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 I want to create an object called vector coordinates of this, this file, of this PDF document. And remember, because this document has been loaded into my working environment, eh, my working environment here, I don't have all the other things, C dot dot slash users name, desktop and all that, okay? But supposing it is on your, on your, desktop then you are going to have you are going to add all the long name here okay desktop okay yeah so now you notice that i'm changing this one because uh windows uh, are in windows uses this slash. Now, if you want to use the other slash, that's the first slash, then it should be double, okay? Otherwise, single of this is uh, suffice. Okay, now I'm going to uh, I'm going to call, I'm going, I want to locate that page 28 and get the coordinates. So let me run this. If It's going to be interactive. If I run this, Oh, sorry, because I, because of the wrong file name I gave here. Yes, it's going to be, it's going to be interactive. It's going to load. Okay, so can you see my PDF loaded here now? The page. Yeah. 
Yes. So now I want to select. You say, you say, click and drag to select an area. When you are, if you are done, say done to accept. So here I'm going to click the table. This is the table I want. And that's all. So I say done. Once I am done, the coordinates of the table have been uh, are now located in this object called vectors. So if I run this object to give me the coordinates here, look at them. The coordinates are 357. Just on the top, the left is 69, the bottom and the right. Okay. So now I want to load just this page, page, this page 28. So I'm going to use another uh another command, another function called the extract method extract tables. And this is the path of my PDF document. As I said, because I am uh, it is on my working the working doc the 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 particular uh, side where I'm working or the directory where I'm working I don't have all the nyama nyama names like C users and all that okay but you should in case you don't have it on your working directory or in R then you have to include it so that it loads from there. Now the page I want is page 28. And all the method we have, we have uh, uh, we have several names for these ones. Uh, they don't they don't mean much. Method, method decide, or some will say guess, false. Okay. So these ones are just uh, what do you call it? They are just optional, uh, optional items in the in the optional parameters you call, you can throw them away. And now we are going to see, even this effort we made to get the names, the, the, uh, the coordinates, 357, this one is 69, uh, 683. Please, I hope you know where I'm getting the these figures from. I got it from the coordinates which we created here, vector coordinates here. As I'm putting them here, you tell a uh, uh, tabulizer that these are the the coordinates of the table I want I'm looking for, and the output is data frame, or you can put your up, output. You can say matrix. And it will it will give you the same sort of so matrix or data frame is same. Okay, so. Extract tables is the command or the method or the function used to call the page I'm looking for. Now I want to look at that into, I want to create an, an object and give it a name, uh, PDF 2010, page 28. So if I, if I run all this, it takes some time. But again, so you see that uh, because I have Java, that's why it's working. If you don't have Java, it will not work. And there is a warning here. Every time you are working and you see a warning, it doesn't mean your work is wrong. It just means that the, is, uh, what do you call it? It's, it's just a, a, comma, a, a command which is already indicated in, the, in the, the, the function that you're using, that if this happens, give this warning. So it says in tabulizer strat, argument guess is true. That's the, 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 the automatically is the guess is true. Unless you say guess false, but area and columns are ignored, which means if I throw away this area, okay, if I remove this area, it will still work and get that page for me. Because here I have indicated page 28. So it will just get a table from there. Now remember this if there are two tables on page 28 and I ignore this area, okay. And I ignore this area. If there are two tables, I'll write 20, I'll repeat the 28. That means there are two tables that I want to extract on that page. But for now, since there's just one table, it's just 28 I put there. Okay. 
Okay, so now we have uh, extracted the table. Again, this part of the of the command is 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 not necessary because tabulizer has been called already, has been loaded into the system. If it were not loaded, then I add this. Otherwise, so this one is redundant here. Okay. Okay. So let's look at what we have collected. The, do the document, the document that we have, uh, which we have just created, the object we have created. Let's find what is there. So you see, that's our table 28. Now from my console, I, I hope you can see my console. This is our table 28. And look at the way it has been presented. It has been presented with this symbol, means that it has been presented as a list. So if you have 20 tables, it will present each of them by this list. So that if you want to call that table, you just use the list number and you call it. Mm -hmm. And it creates for us, it creates for us some uh, these headings. These headings were the first line of that table. Okay, that's why I created it. So now having gotten this, we have to now work on it and clean this data because it's not ready to be used. We have to clean it. Okay, so that's the first part. Now, the document I just showed you this document. Please, can you see? Can you see this document? No, Prof. Okay, so let me again. This the uh, this is the PDF. Yes. So this is the PDF document. This PDF document. Yes. Now you can see. Yes. Yes, Prof. This PDF document has eighty-four pages. Okay, so now, now I want to. It has eighty-four pages. I want to. I want to, I want to draw uh, every table on the eighty-four pages. Okay. <laughs> so now, not just one page, but all of them. So I call. I call uh, this, and I said. Uh, I mean, you can remove all these others, okay? They don't mean anything to uh, tabulizer because it, 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 it has this guess through. It will look for the best parameters or par uh, parameters that will work for you. Okay, so this is my all or to call it and, and get all the, all the tables. So I'm going to extract tables. Now, if I do this, when I run it, it will take some time. If your machine is not fast, then maybe you need maybe 30 minutes or so. Otherwise, in, in less than three minutes, it should be done. Okay, you see that it's still running. I will have this red here. It's still running. And this time it is extracting all the tables in the document, we're starting everything that looks like a table. Okay, so it's not done. We have gotten all the things now. If I run, if I run the object called VRPAC paint 10, we are going to have, so we have, uh, how many? We have 53. You see, the last one is 53. So we have 53 files of the tables, all called call at the same time. Um, so if you know the table you are looking for, all that you need to do is just to go to that table and you get it, okay? Now, there are some, there, there are some inefficient ways which I want to show you so that you don't waste your time doing them. The, the first command here is a way of calling all the 53 tables and putting them together. The second one also is a way of calling all the 53 tables and putting them together. But as I wrote here, they are all inefficient, okay? So 
I like to do it the do the crude way. So let's go like this. Uh, okay, table fifty-two. Let me take you back to the, you back to the original. I want to go to table fifty-two. This is obstructing me here. Okay. So the I think that's the last table. Last but one table. Uh, let me check this one, this is table 52. Okay, I think that's the, no, this is the last table, yes. This is the table 53, the 53rd one. This is table 52, this table, yes. So this is the table population. Please, can you see my, uh, can you see my PDF document? Yes, please, the okay. prof. So this is the table 50, uh, the, 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 that table, which is not the, the, the which is the in the list called fifty three, now uh, fifty two. Sorry. So now we are going to revise or edit that table so that we can have it in the form that is presented in PDF. So what all what you need to know is that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. And you know the you know the title of it already. So this is the title. I want to copy the title, okay? But column uh, column, and then at the top here you have another layer which is uh, which is uh, describing column three, four, and five. But it doesn't extend here, so it means I can ignore this column and say okay, I deal with this column. Uh, sorry, this row. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. Now, this is row one, and this is up to row twenty. Okay, so twenty that means twenty one rows and seven columns. Okay, so now let's go back to our let's go back to our R. Okay, so let me. I just want to save that. The title of the table here, okay? The title is table. I'm doing this because uh, then I don't forget that, oh, I got this table from table. I got this data from table for A4. And as I said, this is the 50, this one. This is the 52, okay? Of the, uh, the 52nd list in that document. So if I just call this one by, so this is a list, so we call it by this double braces. If I call this one, it will give me just this 52. Earlier on, if I called the whole of this, it will give me all the 53, okay? Now I just, I'm just looking for the 52nd one. So it gives me some, let me uh, up a little. Yes, so it gives me something like this, okay? So you see that this is a near perfect, this is a near perfect table, but I want to clean it still. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is that I notice that this uh, number one, okay, look at uh, the first line. The first line has nothing here, all through. And, uh, and the second line has the names, okay, or the title names. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to use another package called Janitor. Janit, Janitor, you know, is the, is the cleaner. In Ghana, we call it cleaner, but in most of the countries, they call it Janitor. Janitor is a cleaner. So Janitor, clean this table for me by making the second row, let the second row now become the heading or the uh, header for my table. So I'm going to say row to names. So row two, okay, in this case, row two. Let row two become the name. 
And then whatever is above this, remove it. So I'll say, I'll just, I'll do this. And if I run, you see what has happened. Okay. It has removed row two for me. Yes. And, and then in the command, I say, remove rows above false. Look at this. So I want this row to become the header. But I'm telling the janitor, the janitor, this row, do not remove it. I didn't remove it because I need this name, house, hold, to complete the heading for this. Now, an easier way would be say, say true. Okay? If I say true, it will remove row number one. It will remove the row above the number two, which I've chosen. So when I run it, you have all this number, community name, total, male, female, host, houses. So as it is, it is in the form of a data frame. But I want to go over to the tidy, I want to go to the tidy or the tidy verse environment. So I'm going to call, I'm going to transform it into a table. Okay, table. I say table. Look at this. So when I say table, I have this the format for it. Now I know that all of this column, column three, four, five, six, and seven, uh, uh, the tidy verse has indicated the class of the columns. So it has character, 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 character. But I know that they are not characters, they are numerals, they are numbers. So I'm going to throw this out because I did them already. So I'm going to change, I'm going to change these columns, column three, four, five, six, seven, to become numbers. Now what do I do? I'll tell I'll I'll I'll, I'll tell are mutate at that means change at change at all the columns all the columns okay change at let's say five uh, three four five six seven but an easier way also is to say change at all columns except these ones except one and two except one and two well, one one we are going to throw away anyway. We, we don't we are going to throw away, but this one is this one. So the, the community name should be character, but all the others should be number. So I say mutate at except one and two, mutate at all the others, change all the others to number, pass number. If I wanted to make it factor, I'll say pass factor. Okay. Pass factor. So and this is from the Read our, read our package, which is also a part of the tidy verse. So we take at this and pass number. And then I run. If I run, it changes column three, four, five, six, seven, automatically to numbers for me. So double, you see double, 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 double. Double is, uh, is just the, in the for the, the computer to understand that it is it has a dot. There's a dot that comes after a number. So, but if you say integer, is without a dot. So this one could be a number with a dot. Okay. Now I want to rename this column, the second column. I just want to call it community. Okay. And I also want to rename. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. The column, the six column. Remember, the six column was called households. Okay, households, and that is column six. Okay, okay. So this is an easier way of renaming. Another way of being this could have been so instead of saying one, I could have said rename community name. So the new name comes first, then the old name comes next. 
you notice there's a tick before and after this. It is because they are not, they are two different words. If you don't bring the tick, it will give an error because it will treat them as different objects. But now they are one name. And then holds. So instead of six, I, I could just say holds, okay? But that's the, uh, that means a lot of work. So I just choose two and six. And if I run this, now my data is in table format and it is also neatly done for me, okay? And so, for example, I, in view of work I'm going to do later on, if you look at column uh, line, row 11, Row 11 has this name, this name with this uh, dash here. I want to transform it, I want to change it. I want to replace it with the name without the dash or without the extra spaces here. One of the, one form is this, the other forms we could use, but one of the forms is to say mutate. In the community, in the community column, replace, in the community column, row number equal to 11, row number which is, remember to say double equal because it's a logical, logical expression. Row number is equal to 11. So if row number, if the row number is 11, then change it to this. And once I do that, you see that it will change this to this for me. Okay. So this is my, Table. So all this while, now I want to create an object called whole city 52. 52 that is re referring to the, uh, say the, the list 52. So this is my data, my, yes, the, the extracted data from PDF. Any questions so far? Okay, so you see that it involves a lot of work, but uh, I've taken my time to do it because uh, I don't want to have a wrong figure and which would uh, which will also change my my result. So you spend more time to clean your data than anything else. Good. Then the last the last uh, the last uh, list document or list table. Is this this is the this is this table? This table has the community name, the ages, all ages, then the year, the years, yeah? because given the ages of each community. So if I say straight away as table, as table. It will do a neat job for me. As Tibo. Wow. Then create it this way for me straight away. So before I get there, I want to, before I get to Tibo, I just want to clean the, I just want to clean the top. Yes. The header, the header. You notice that the header, this is the line for the header, line two. Line two, two is the header of this table. And it gives the ages, is the header. So I'm going to tell her that, okay, now janitor, cleaner, row, check, check the one, this row and take it to become the names. So in this case, row two, okay? Row two, let it become the, and then, then you remove row one, this one, row one from it, row one, okay, remove it. So through, I'll say through here. Oh, sorry. Where, where there is the false, I'll say through. Remove it. If I run just that, you see what has happened? Yes. So you have, well, yes, so you have this. 
Now we have the rules to be SN and, and all this and all that. But I also know that, I also know, yes, and so let me convert it to a table before I rename into a table. Okay. Now, uh, yes, so this is an error. This is an error because those, there are some two, there are some, look at this column. This column has no name. This column has no name. Okay. So before I make it a table, let me rename. So column two, column two, column two is going to be community. Column three is going to be all ages. And column one is already SN. Okay, so that's given. So now I have column two and three have names. So I cannot create it as a table. Okay. I cannot make it a table. Make it a table, it goes. So we have a serial number, community, uh, all ages, and all that. Now, let me let me create an object from this. What we have done so far, good. So so I've, I'm here, okay. I'm here, and so far I've defined. I've used all this to define a new object called whole city 53 pop. Now let me look at how it looks. Let me view it. Let me view it. So now we have the first 10 rows. If you examine the first 10 rows, you notice that row one has nothing here. Row nine has nothing here. Okay. So let me write it here. Row one, row nine has nothing. Now let me check the other rows too. So row 11 to uh, 25, uh, 11, 25. Yeah, so row 11 has, yes, row 11 is also wrongly done. Row 11 is wrongly done. Row four, uh, row 14. Row 14 is wrongly done. Row 15 is wrongly done. This row 15, row 16 should is also wrongly done. So there's nothing there. Good. So you go back to your original table and, and fix out and find out how to fix this one. For example, we know row 11 is just that this name and this name, the, the two of them, these two names should have been in row 11. Okay. And this name should have been here in row, uh, yes, this name should have been row nine, for instance. Eight should have been uh, nine, uh, 10 should have been row nine and in that, in that order. Okay, so, yeah, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to remove some of them. Row one, I don't need. Row nine, I don't need. Row 11, I don't need. Row 14, I don't need. Row 16, I don't need. Okay. So, so I'm going to remove those rows. So I say slice. If I say slice minus C, this, those are the rows I'm going to remove. So let me remove row. Let me start. Row one. Row one, there's nothing there. Sorry, one and row row nine. So this is all just cleaning the data, and you take your time and clean it. Row eleven, row fourteen, row sixteen. Yeah, that's all. So up to row sixteen, you don't need. So you slice it. Slice. Slice means remove this row. And a slice 
means choose this row. But because I said negative, it means remove them. Okay. Re choose all of them except this, this ones. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yes, here I didn't, yes. Because I didn't, because this one was not there. That's why it gives me the error. So, slice. So now it has removed those rules that are, do not have the correct data. And so I have to start correcting it. What is in, what is on rule eight? Rule eight, something is there. What is on rule 11? What is there? So I go back to my PDF document. I go back to my PDF. So now we are looking for rules. Uh, where are they? Row 8, row 11, 8, 11, and yes. Okay, we are looking for 8 and 11. So let's find out what is in 8 and 11. So 8 is this town, and 11 is this town, OK? Oh, sorry, 8 is this town, and 11 is this town. So let me just take them. Yeah, so I'm going to replace those ones. Yes. Yeah. So before we come there, what I've just copied, let me save it here. Oh, that's 11. It's 11 and eight, right? Yes, so 11 and 8. So 8, this is 8. And this is 11. Those are the towns I'm looking for. Good. Yeah. Now, if you examine the table again, there is something here. If you examine this table, look at this. Look at uh, column three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at this column. Let me run it again so that it will be wide, a bit wider. Uh -huh. If you if you look at this column, where we have thirty nine, it's sorry thirty five. Up to 44, it has been combined as one column. Have you noticed that? So we have to separate them. Good. Okay, here I as I said, I want to remove, I want to remove this column, yeah, the first column. So I just say select this and remove it. Okay, so we are going to separate select. S N. Oh, okay. It's S N. Yeah. So this one has also a, a, a tick, a tick here. It's a tick here. Select this. I'll select this. So I'm going to. I'm going to. Yes. I'm going to separate this column. Thirty-five to thirty-nine. It, it has been joined. So I'm going to separate it. So I say separate. And then you just copy the way it is here and post here. Okay. So because I, because there are some spaces between them, I don't want to change the space. So that's why I'm copying it and posting here. Separate this column into two, into 35, 39, and then 40, 44. And the separator between them is a is an empty space. This empty space. So the empty space. So now if I separate, if I do this, it will separate them for me. So now 30, 30, 
39 is one, and 40, 44 is another one. Okay, so as we said, columns eight and 11 need to, be, need to change. So I'm going to use the replace again. So replace in the community column, and where you have the community, community column, replace community column, row number, if the row number is equal to eight, okay, if the row number is equal to eight, replace it with uh, this, this name, which we have here, which is here. And if the row number is 11, if it is 11, replace it with this one here, okay? Again, originally there was a dash, there's a dash here, but I, I did it this way, because you remember when we were doing the other one, we just did it like this, okay? So now these two columns have been, uh, yeah, these have, uh, have been filled. So every city now is filled here. And so now we don't have any other empty column again. So this command is not necessary. And so if you examine it, you will find again that every column has just been turned into a, into a character, character, character. And if you look down here, the, the four more variables here, it's also character, character, character. So I could, I could just easily say, okay, I could easily say this one method I use, but it makes it longer. I'll just say mutate, mutate at, you remember the last time we did it, mutate at, that means change all the class of all the columns, except the first one, except, except number one except the first one, pass number for all, for all the columns. So at, with this command, it's going to change every column now into every column apart from the first one into where, into numerals, number. So change every column into number, okay? So every column now has been changed into number for me. Good. So this is my data. So now having having be able to clean it this to this end, and I'm sure that all the numbers are accurate here. I now create that I'm now going to create the object called whole city population fifty three. Good. So now we have two clean data the whole city population 53 and the whole city 52, just to refer to the, yes. Now, suppose you want to match this data, okay? You want to match this data, these two data sets. So if you examine the first one, it has 20 rows and it has a, they have a common column called community. This one also has a column called community. All the names are there, 20 rows. I just want to join, put them together. So I say left join. Left join means uh, whole city is on the left, whole city uh, pop 53 is on the right. So join them together from the left by making this one the standard one. But the common denominator you're going to use to join them is community. And when you finish, Yes, so let me join them, left join. It's also from the third verse, left join, left join, good. So I've joined all of all the data and I want to remove, look at this, number, community, total, male, female, households, houses, all ages. In one of the documents, it's called all ages. In another one, it's called total. And they are referring to the same thing. You see, this one is this, this is this. They are referring to the same thing, the same. So let me just remove one of them. So I'll remove the, I'll remove the uh, eighth one. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All ages, are all the ages. That's why I said select minus eight. So now you have whole city data where all your data has been put together into one data frame. So if you want to do any kind of analysis, you can use it on the cities now, okay? If you want to remove the total, fine. So, yes. So that's one way of creating data using, uh, uh, extracting data using uh, the, 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 the tabulizer package. Good. Now, there's a crude method which I like to use so much. This is the crude method. So let me look for this data. The actual electricity consumption. Let me check if it's... Oh, okay, electricity consumption is not here. Uh, because we, we don't have much time, I want to go to... Uh, and I want to go to one which involves the use of uh, PNG or, or JPEG. Now, uh, la la two, weeks, uh, two weeks ago, the Nasdaq service published the, the CPI, the inflation data. When they published it, 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 it was, it's like this. Let me extract it for you. Okay. So this is, uh, let me share. Share so that you can see. Uh, bulletin, yes. Share. This is the data they published. Please, can you, can you see? Can you all see? It? Please, can you see? It? Yes, please. Okay. So this yes. Is, yes, this is the data they published. Now, one of the ways to extract data, which I, I, I said I like, is the, the very crude way, the primitive way. It is that I'll copy the data from PDF, eh, I'll copy and paste. Okay, look, for instance, this data, the data here on this page. Now, let me go to the next page. You copy and paste. Unfortunately, yes. This, this is the data, the consumer price index for March this year. Now, now what happened was that if I click on it, when I click on it like this, it is not, it is not a document that, uh, it, it is not a document that you can easily uh, paste into text, text, because they made it a, like photo, like picture. Okay. So in order to extract this, one of the crude ways is that I copy it, okay, copy the, so if you say you want to copy it, it shows that I copy image. I copy it and paste it on my, on my desktop as a picture, as a PNG. Please, is that clear? Because I don't know, by some design, they just did like that. So you could, there's no way you could easily copy it using the, are uh, yeah, using uh, the screwed method as I was using. Now this document has been has been uh, uh, made a, a kind of picture. So I'm going to use another PDF tool to extract the data as a picture. So that uh, that 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 yeah, this is the this uh, library is called PDF Tools. Okay, PDF Tools. Again, you need some. So I'm going to run it. I'm going to run PDF Tools. Now I'm going to copy the data directly from their website. Okay, I'm going to scrape it directly. So I just copy their website. This is the website of Ghana Statistical Service. And the, doc the data I'm looking for are on pages 7 to 11. And this is a resolution I'm giving is 600. I want it to be beautiful, 600. So I'm going to load this. 
Yeah, I'm, going, I'm going to use the command in PDF tool called PDF convert because I want to convert it. This is a picture. I'm going to uh, just give it the command convert. Otherwise, if, it, if I just a PDF load data or text, it will not be able to, but convert, then it converts the picture for me. The thing is already in picture. So PDF, load it as a picture. Then I run. When I run, please, do you see my console, my, uh, my workspace on R? Please, do you see my workspace on R? Yes, please. Okay, so yes. you have seen that it's converting. So it has converted this data, this document which I just showed you, which Ghana Statistical Service published, but they published in a, a as a picture, a PNG format. So PDF convert has just converted it into the or, or regular original format for me. So converting page seven, page eight. So now it has converted all the. Now, if I load this, let, let's see what. So it gives me where it has it has converted it, where it has uh, published it. So it is on my it's on my uh, working space now. Okay. So then I use another uh, another package called Tesseract. Tesseract is to be able to open pictures, PNG documents. So I say Tesseract, I'm going to use Tesseract. Tesseract, I say OCR. You know that when you are, uh, if you want to, uh, you go to the uh, office and you want to scan a document, it is actually the OCR technique which is used to scan your document. So Tesseract is going to scan this, all these files for me, and it's going to put them into this, okay? So Tesseract, scan for me uh, what I've just done, this, this, this uh, five files scan and put into this other object. Okay. It also takes some time. If your machine is not uh, powerful, then you spend a, for a number of minutes. Otherwise, now it's done. Let me run it, run it and see what has happened to my data. You see, it is not properly structured. All of the uh, four, five pages, it has uh, just jumped together like this for you, okay? Into, uh, and each one of them, one, one of them is a vector into five vectors. So then I use this command, cut. Cut is in the, cut is in the base package, cut to transform, to, to read the whole of that, of what I've just done here. So if I say cut, So look at what Kat has done. Kat has just beautifully presented my data, my tables, which were jumbled in this format for me. So this is the first table, table three. If you, uh, yes, then the next table, oh, uh, the next table, table four, uh, table five, and table six. And table, yes, and table six. So that's what has happened here. So this, so you see one, two, three commands, all my data is giving me. So that's one way of doing it. And if you like, now, so if you are like me, then I'll now copy all of this. Let's say I'm looking for table one. Okay. Suppose I'm looking for table one. I'll just copy it, okay? I'll just copy all of this from the here, from the console, and paste on my working space, like I have here, okay? I'll we'll just copy all of them, paste here, and paste here. These ones I don't need, this one, okay? So this is the, I'm keeping them again because I don't want to lose the title of the of the uh, of the document of the table. 
So what have we done here? I've just copied what it has been given me from OCR, uh, OCR here. I've just copied it here and I'm going to work on it. Now, if you examine the table, the original table, you will notice that it's a table of one, two, three, four, five columns. Let me go back to the original document. Let me go back to the original document and let him okay. share. Okay. Yeah, so this one, it has one, two, three, four, five columns. This is the table I, got, I just got. So the first one is this item. This is the second name, the third name, four, fifth, the order. So having this in mind, please, uh, can you see this? I hope you can see. I hope you can see this. Yes. yes. Okay. So let me go back to the R console. Let's go back to the R console. Okay. Good. So it has five columns. That's what we've done. One, two, three, four, five. Now, the first column is called uh, item CUI classification. And because it, it's a, uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to ask R now to load it. And I'm going to make it look like a document which has been structured in four columns so that when R is loading, it loads exactly each by its column. So the, if you leave it like this, the spaces between them would indicate to R that, oh, okay, this is one column, this is one column, this is one column, three, four, five, six, seven. But it's not seven. These, all of these belong to column one. So I use the small inverted commas to separate, to indicate that this is one column, okay? And and this this one doesn't need it. And this one because of the equal the special symbol equal to sign you have to add it. So now you have one, two, three, four, five columns. And over here, the whole of this is not one issue one column. All of this is another column. All of this you select. It's a very easy trick. Select it and then just press the inverted comma sign and it goes for you. Okay. And I select all of this. And this very long column. Health, transport. These ones don't need any change. Recreation, culture. They don't need any change. This needs some change. This also. This also. This also. So you notice that this one is not part of, it's, it's just an explanation of the, the document. So you don't need this one. So I can just put it here. Now, this is the command in R to create a table. So it's called read table. Then it starts with text. Now, usually, before text, you say, for instance, it has a header, okay? It has a header, so header true. So it treats the first column as header. And if you have a special separator, a special mark separating this from this from this, if, for example, what separates column by column is column, then I would have said here, separator equals colon. Okay. Is the separator. Please, is that clear? But now, since the separator is just a, a, a dash, or sorry, a, a space, R and the interprets it automatically to be the separator, a space. Now, Anytime you do OCR, there are some figures which are wrongly printed. 
For example, there are certain commands in R which are interpreted differently. If you if you put, let's say, uh, this UA9 is interpreted by R differently, okay? It's interpreted by R differently. It's a command by which R interprets differently. So in view, uh, in view of that, so you see how R interprets my UA9 peer goal interpreted differently. That, and that's why when you do a OCR, you should always cross check and be sure that the figures that have been churned out, some of them are wrong or right or wrong. So for example, here you see there's a, an inverted comma here. It shouldn't, there's no inverted comma. And here also you see there's a, uh, a, a, there's a, a bracket here. There should be no bracket. There's a question mark here. It means a certain number has been omitted. There's another question mark here. It means something has been omitted in those places. Look at 6.4. It could be 6.74. You never know. Ah, like the F here. It means something is there which is omitted. So this could have been 174.9 or something. So you go back to your original data. And like, look at here. Of, okay, 279. Uh, this can never be 279, maybe 27.9, something like that. So you go back to the original data and cross check that the figures chain out are correct. Otherwise, you get a wrong, uh, you create a wrong data out of the OCR. So now if I run this, if I run this, it should, it should show that this is a, okay, so, so good. Now there's an error. This line nine did not have five elements. So let's go over. Line one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One line, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. So one line has not, line nine, this is nine, one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Culture. One, two, three. Ah, yes, it's here. So this one might be. 2.69 or something, yes. So this way, one, two, three, four. Very clear. So when you run this, I'm running only up to here. Line 10 did not have five elements. So nine, 10. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, here is here, 32.9. One, two, three, four, yes. So it will always show you which. Okay, so now all of it has been has just been properly done. So we have one, two, three, four, five columns. And yeah. So so we can ignore this uh rule names and say as table, assuming we want to make it a table. So we copy the whole of it and say table, make it a table for us. Make it a table. Okay. So this is our, our table. And well, as you see, the, the titles, it, it didn't do it the way it is written there. So if you want to change it, is where you can just say, you can just copy this down here and say, okay. So I want to change the, the names, the, 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 the header for the table. So I'll say rename. Rename. 
So the first one should look like this. I want it to look like this. Okay. I want it to look exactly like this. So, but now it's a it's a title. It's, sorry, it's a title. So I'm going to use the tick. I'm going to use the use the tick mark because it's a, it's a title which is is equal to one. And the second one is a. The second one is like this, 2021 and 100. Also by, a tick, by the tick mark. Again, if you select all of this and press the tick to give you. So that's column three, column three. So if I run this, it will give me a table with the, type, the way I just wanted the, type, the header to be. And nothing else. Uh, so as I said, this figure might not, I mean, this table might not be accurate because of certain corrections. So you have to go back to the original table to make the corrections before you can use it for your visualization or something. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that's one of the ways to use the change the PNG there into, I'm just looking for the other, the another one, yes. Okay, so yesterday, or like two weeks, guys, I got service, they, they created this, let me show you, they posted this on their, sorry, I'm going to share, I want to share this with you. Yeah, so yeah, so they created this. They created this on their Twitter page. So I want to extract this. Oh, I want to redo it. I want to redo it in R. I want to redo it in R. Now, that image which we saw is already saved in my working space here. So I'm going to call it. But then, so you need another library called Magic. Magic. Magic is from another bigger library called Image Magic, which is used to make photos or edit photos. I run magic and it tells me what it has loaded. It is linked to image magic and it has enabled some other features. And because of incompatibility, it has disabled some other features. So I'm going to use image magic, the magic, the command image read to read that document from an statistical service. Okay, it has re read the document. Now, if I say print, You see that it has printed it neatly on my, as a viewer for me. So I want to resize the image 1,200 times. So image resize. Okay, so I got this data now. Now I want to scrape the data so that I'll get uh, uh, the, this table so that I can get the data from it. Now, Remember, it was saved like this, GSS CPI image. And I want to resize it to 2000 so that it can, uh, I can look at it more clearly, or I can see it more clearly and read. And then I'll convert it to a grayscale. Up to this part, let, let's see what happens to the, 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 it has become gray. Now I want to trim it by 40% because it's too huge. So I want to trim it by 40%. I want to trim it by 40%. It has been trimmed. Now, I want now, this image was in JPEG. So I want now to write it as PNG so that Tesseract can read it with a density of 300, 300. 
So this is the, the data, the picture that has been transformed to the, the figures for me. But OCR can read it and tell me something more that I do not know. So OCR has just read it and transformed all of it to one vector, all the numbers, the names. Now let me run this and save it under an object called GSS CPI image DF. So you remember cut again, cut. Cut is not going to read for me clearly, neatly. Cut is cut has just read it for me. And this is the data which is on this, which is in this uh, figure that we see here. Okay, but uh, again, well, our time is up. Again, because of the, uh, the, the use of OCR, I told you it, it will misread some, uh, some letters or some numbers. So I'm going to copy the whole of the data, okay? I'll copy the whole of the data and post here before I edit, before I edit. I know that this is the uh, shares of inflation, shares of inflation. Yes, I know this is the header. I know that this is the first figure, okay? And I know that this cannot be A6, it's something else, okay? And a percent symbol comes, something a percent. I know this is uh, 1.2, this cannot be zero TM, because it has, that's how it read it. So this is a, a, a number, it cannot be OS, it's a number it has misread. But I know that this is supposed to represent the columns here. And all of them, there's uh, not much sense is made out of it. So I have to re-edit it now. Uh, so the to get this data in using OCR or CAT uh, involves more work. So the, the, the crudest way is just to look at uh, the print the to load the data here and rewrite it on, by yourself. For example, like this, I rewrite the whole data and arrange it. And after arranging, after arranging, I, I after arranging it, I get this. After I rearrange it, this is what I get. And you see that all the numbers are here and then followed by the descriptions of them. So the one of the easiest ways to convert it is to first to transpose it. If I transpose it, it gives me this, yeah, my kind of matrix. That's okay, this is a matrix. 13, each one has 13 columns. One, two, three, 13 columns, so matrix. So make it a matrix for me by 13 columns and transpose again and make a table for me. Oh, so we have two columns of the data. One is this, one is that. And I want to rename them. This first column will be percentage. This will be a subgroup. And I want to send the second column to before the first column. So relocate the second column before the first column. Now, this is supposed to be numbers. So I'm going to change it to numbers, but first of all, remove the, the percentage sign. So sub, substitute the percentage with nothing, and then stretch, stretch a string squish. So make it uh, compact, remove the extra spaces. So I have a neat table, I have a neat table here, which I can, Yes, I have a neat table here. And if I call it, my GSS data, which was in, the, in this form has been transformed like this. And I can create a, a set of pick colors and make a histogram, okay? And I make a neat histogram, which I spend a lot, some more time to make neatly neat histogram from this data. It doesn't look exactly like the, uh, but it gives me an idea what the data in these compositions are. 
Good. So uh, there are a lot of things we can do with uh, OCR and their friends. Now I'm going to, all that I've just done, I'm going to put them together into one and send to you, but I'll get the recording edited immediately and post to you. Good. So thank you for the attention. If there are some questions, let's address them before we leave for now. Thank you very much. Yeah. I really enjoyed the presentation. And uh, I hope uh, we will continue to have such a wonderful presentation yes. time to come. Thank you very much. Yeah. So I'll, as I said, I'll send the codes to you so that you try your hands on them. Now, if you have a difficulty with the uh, with Java, kindly just post a, a question on the platform and I'll give you the all the directions you need. So you first, you can get Java, I'll put all of it there. If you don't have Java, you can you can download Java from here into your, on your machine. And then you run the, the from the term, terminal to check whether the Java is properly loaded. If it's not, just give me the, uh, the hint and I'll show you how to build it on, with your R, take it with your R. Then you get your R Java, and then you are good to go with all the, the, the libraries that I've mentioned, Tesseract, Image uh, Magic, uh, PDF tools, Tabulizer, they all require, they all require uh, that you have Java. But the most interesting one is this one, PDF table. PDF table is a commercial one, but as I said, it gives you 500 pages of PDF to convert to Excel directly. You don't make any struggle. You just give the command, and that's it for you. Uh, but that one, after 500, then you need a, then you need to uh, buy the API. Mm. All right. So see you again some other time. And wish you all the best again. Thank you so much, Prof. We are very grateful. You're welcome. We'll be waiting for we'll be waiting for the course and then uh, the video as video. well. Yes. Because of network, some of us couldn't follow, so oh. well, we had to go and come back. Oh, okay. So okay. maybe the video the recording and then the course will help us for us to follow. Yes, it's yes. really a very presentation, and we are grateful. Good, good. I'll work on it immediately by by before midnight. I'll push them. All right. All Sorry, right. before my midnight, not yours. <laughs> not yours. <laughs> okay. okay all right. We are already heading towards midnight, so we yeah. wouldn't expect that it should be our midnight. No, my midnight. My midnight. <laughs> my midnight is uh, right. some hours away. So all the best. Okay. Greetings to all your families all right. and friends. Thank you so much. Okay. All the best.